Okay, hey guys, Mr. Antonucci here. And in this video, I want to talk to you about parallel and perpendicular lines. As you probably know, two lines are parallel if they have the same slope or equal slopes. And two non-vertical lines are perpendicular if their slopes are opposite, opposite reciprocals of one another. The reason we say non-vertical is because a horizontal line has slope zero and the line perpendicular to that would be vertical and that really has no slopes. So the reciprocal of zero is actually undefined. So that's that's just a special case. The other way to determine if two lines are perpendicular is that if you multiply their slopes, the product of their slopes is going to equal negative one. So an example here, you want to find the equation of the line that passes through the point zero comma zero and is A parallel and B perpendicular to the line y equals negative two x plus two. So why don't you take a second, pause the video and then hit play after you try this problem. Okay, so for this one, if we want to do the parallel, uh, we know that the slope of a, this given line is negative two. So the parallel line is going to have slope negative two and the point is zero comma zero. This is a great candidate for the point slope form because we know the point and we know the slope. So y equals y naught, which is zero, plus the slope negative two times x minus x naught. This actually just simplifies to y equals negative two x. And notice it has the same slope, but a different y-intercept, in this case, it would be zero. And therefore the lines are gonna be parallel. The perpendicular line is gonna be the opposite reciprocal of negative two for the slope, okay? So uh, negative two, the reciprocal is negative one half. The opposite of that would be positive one half. And then again, we know that the point is zero comma zero. So you have y equals y naught plus the slope times x minus x naught. And since the uh, initial point is zero comma zero, this can easily simplify to y equals one half x. If you graphed this line in the original, you would see if you graphed it in a square viewing window that they would intersect at a 90 degree angle. All right, well, that's it for parallel and perpendicular lines. Hope that was helpful to you.